23, JJ was going over the first kiss scene with K. Can't say I didn't see this coming. The way you two smoke up the joint. Are you nervous? You look nervous. K shook his head as he glanced around. Looking for Shoyo. I'm fine. You're not fine. Your hands are shaking. K spread his fingers out and sure enough. They were shaking. The last thing he wanted to do was admit he was nervous as hell about their first kiss. Too much coffee. I'm fine. We'll try for two takes. But we have to get it right. Everyone, even the higher ups, are invested in this. They want it to be perfect. Are you trying to make me even more nervous JJ? Because it's working. K rolled his head back and forth. Trying to loosen up his neck. So, you are nervous about the kiss. A little bit. Yeah. K admitted. It's a big deal. Don't you think? Huge. JJ put up a hand. Sorry. I'm making it worse. You'll be fine kid. You too have that thing that every director wants to see. So my job will be easy today. He leaned in close and lowered his voice. Are you sure you don't want to rehearse it a few times? They'd rehearsed the lines and the blocking. But K wanted the actual kiss to be natural. He shook his head and JJ turned to walk away. But he reached for his arm. JJ, about the getting it right thing. Will you just let the camera run? Don't yell cut. Just let it flow and then maybe we can decide together how much of it makes the cut. JJ gave him a wink. You got it kid. K took off his robe and stepped onto the set. Finding his mark in Leo's dimly lit apartment. Wearing nothing but a fake cast. A black tank top. And tight shorts. He stood by the front door. Ready whenever Shoyo is. Shoyo found his mark on the other side of the door. Ready. Okay. Everyone. We're rolling. JJ let the assistant director do his thing and then shouted. Action. Leo opened his door and leaned against it with one hand. It's late. Colin looked Leo up and down. Taking in his barely clothed body. Sorry. Were you asleep? Just working in bed. Leo opened the door all the way. Letting Colin in. What brings you out so late? Isn't it snowing? Just a dusting. Colin took off his winter coat and hung it on the coat rack. His eyes tracking Leo's ass as he walked into the kitchen. Well, I'm glad you're here. Because I've been dying for a glass of wine but can't get the cork out with one hand. Colin took the bottle. Here, let me get it. He nervously glanced at Leo. You get the glasses. Leo turned away and Colin's eyes went to his long, toned legs. Leo got on his tiptoes and reached high into the cupboard, making his tank top ride up a little. Colin closed his eyes and took a deep breath. You didn't come here to fight with me again did you? Or quit? It's always one or the other. Leo set the glasses down and turned toward Colin. Leaning against the counter, Colin poured the wine and took a quick swallow. I didn't come here to fight with you. He quickly downed a little more wine and turned to Leo. I came here to. He paused for a second as their eyes met. This. He grabbed Leo's face and kissed him. When he didn't get a reaction. He pulled away and took a few steps back. Leo stood there. Frozen. His mouth slightly open. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have. Leo grabbed Colin's hand and pulled him back to him. They stared intently for a few seconds and then Leo leaned in and kissed him back. Colin was tense at first but eventually relaxed into the kiss. That was where the scene was supposed to end. But JJ motioned for his crew to keep rolling instead of cutting the scene. Leo grabbed Colin's hips and turned him so that he was now pushed back against the counter. He kissed along Colin's jaw. Working his way to his neck. Kissing and sucking as he went. Colin closed his eyes and gripped Leo's shoulders as a moan escaped his mouth. When Leo heard the moan. He pulled back and made eye contact before going in for another kiss. Shoyo kept the kiss closed as much as he could for the cameras. But his desire to feel Kay's tongue overwhelmed him. So he deepened the kiss. Kay grabbed Shoyo around the waist as their tongues collided. After a few seconds, Shoyo pushed Kay away and made eye contact again. Through bated breath, Kay said, Please tell me you got that. JJ. Shoyo and Kay both turned to look at the crew. Who were all standing there in shock. JJ cleared his throat. And. Cut. 
K opened his trailer door and found Shoyo standing there. Waiting. I'm fine. He said. Before Shoyo could ask. You don't sound fine. K didn't want to admit how discombobulated he felt after that kiss. And God. He hoped it wasn't written all over his face. Was he bright red? He felt bright red. I'm just glad that damn scene is over. It sucked that bad for you. Huh? Having to kiss me? I didn't mean it like that. K snapped back. We knew this scene was coming. Please don't make it awkward. The only one who's acting awkward. Oh my god. Shoyo. Really? I'm the only one? K winced when he saw Yachi standing there. Waiting with the cart. He got in the front seat. Not a word. Yachi. Yachi followed the instructions and didn't even look at her boss. That didn't stop her from giving Shoyo a worried look in the rearview mirror a couple of times. When they came to a stop, K jumped out and headed straight for the Range Rover. Shoyo patted her shoulder. Thanks Yachi. Yeah. Okay. Yachi watched K get in the car and shut the door. Is he okay Shoyo? I don't get why he's so mad. Shoyo followed Yachi's gaze. He'll be fine. He's probably just nervous about the big love scene tomorrow. Well, if hot scenes put him in a mood like this, we're all screwed. Shoyo laughed. Tell me about it. K gave Shoyo an impatient wave to get in the car. See you tomorrow Yachi. Shoyo got in the car and slammed his door shut. He put the key in the ignition and sat back. He was about to say something. But K beat him to it. Can we please go home now? Fine. Shoyo started the car. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. Just look out the goddamned window. K opened his mouth. I mean it. He shut his mouth again. Shoyo cranked the music and screeched out of the parking lot. K stared out the sliding glass door. They'd finished early and Shoyo was where he always was if they got home early enough to see the sunset. Lying on a lounge chair by the pool, K was angry at himself for letting that kiss affect him the way it did. That had certainly never happened to him at work before. The kisses he'd had with the lawyers and judges Leo had slept with were very mechanical. He'd felt nothing, less than nothing. It was acting, pure and simple. Taking out his frustration on Shoyo was uncalled for. Juvenile. It wasn't his fault. Shoyo was just doing his job. He wasn't the one who made the kiss ten times as sexy and twice as long as it was supposed to be. That was all K. He opened the sliding glass door and stepped outside. He slowly walked over to where Shoyo was. His hands deep in his jeans pockets. Looking rather contrite. He wasn't sure what he would say. But he knew it needed to include some sort of apology. He sat on a lounge chair and motioned for Shoyo to take his earbuds out. I'm sorry I snapped at you earlier. Shoyo turned his attention back to his magazine. You're gay. K. It's okay to get turned on when a man kisses you. It was only the second time K had ever kissed a man. And even with people watching. Cameras rolling. And the nerves roiling in his stomach. It felt magical. And that scared him. Because he couldn't control his feelings. And he desperately needed to control his feelings when it came to Shoyo. Still. He wanted to know. Were you turned on? Very. Shoyo said as he turned a page. Would it hurt their working relationship to acknowledge the truth? Would Shoyo even believe him if he lied? No. He'd see right through it. Yeah. Um. Me too. There's no shame in that. Shoyo turned another page. And it doesn't have to mean anything. Hell I've had several women on set push themselves against me. But it didn't mean they were in love with me. He met Kay's gaze. At least. That's not what I took it to mean. The amusement in Shoyo's eyes was very evident. K gave him a knowing smirk. You can tease me all you want. I deserve it. But I really am sorry. For turning me on? Because that's not how the scene was written. Pushing me against the counter like that? Shoyo teased as he slowly shook his head. Not in the script. Neither was your tongue. Shoyo laughed. They'll probably cut that part. Good. Then I can pretend it never happened. K stood up. I made dinner. Yeah good luck trying to forget my tongue. And. You did? Shoyo asked in surprise. Bot. Is a more accurate word. I bought dinner. And I have a movie queued up that I really don't want to watch alone. You hate my commentary when we watch movies. 
K held out his hand, helping Shoyo up. I'll make popcorn. That'll keep you quiet. Shoyo folded his magazine in half and hit K's butt with it. God you're a pain in my ass sometimes. Ditto. Yachi watched Laura put the final touches on K's body makeup. Evening out any tan lines on his arms and legs. Can I watch? No. K pointed at his right shoulder. A little more right here. But you're going to be making out with. Yachi. If you say Dr. Brandon Cartwright. I swear I'll fire you right now with no severance. Yachi grimaced at Laura. He's in his hot scene mood. It's his thing. Laura put up her hands. I'm just here to make him look good. She winked at Yachi. But I know what you mean. Are you ready? Shoyo stepped up into the trailer. Wearing a bathrobe. Yachi gave him a little wave. Oh. Hey Sho. She'd started calling him Sho after she'd heard Kay say it. Hey Yachi. How's our boy holding up? Kinda grumpy. Yachi whispered. I'm not grumpy. Kay put his arms out so Laura could help him put on a robe. I'm also not deaf. Okay. You're all set. Laura turned her attention to Shoyo. You're tan all over. So you won't need much. I'll touch you up on set. Can you ladies give me a minute with Kay? I'll be right there. Laura. Shoyo waited until they were both gone and the door was closed before he turned to Kay. You haven't done much of this. Have you? Love scenes or men? Both actually. Kay took a deep breath. A few. And no, they've got me on top. So I'll be doing most of the work. I'm not worried. Kay said. Unconvincingly. That's a lie. You're worried sick. Kay tried to walk to the door but Shoyo grabbed his hand. Kay. I need to say something. If this backfires. Kay sighed. You're right. I'm worried sick. You're not blazing a trail here. Other shows have gay characters and gay love scenes. K shook his head. Not my show. I could lose viewers. And you'll gain millions more. Who cares if those boycotting moms target you? Fuck them. They seem like shitty moms to me. K closed his robe and tightened the belt. Let's just get this over with. Shoyo stepped closer. Okay but you need to trust me in there. He adjusted the collar on K's robe. Even though it didn't need adjusting. I've done at least 50 love scenes. None like this. Because it was daytime TV. But still. I know what I'm doing. I do trust you. Then stop trying to push me away. We're in this together. If there's tension between us. It'll show up on camera. Shoyo was right. K had been in his own head for days. Worried about all of this. He put his hands on Shoyo's waist. Resting their foreheads together. I know. And I'm sorry. I just have so much on my mind right now. Let it all go. Just for an hour. Kay nodded. I'll try. Also. You can't be mad at me after. You were furious with me after the kissing scene. And if your underwear is wet an hour from now. You can't take it out on me. Kay suppressed a chuckle. Okay. I won't take it out on you. But eight people will be watching us. So I don't think that'll be a problem. Yes. Kay had counted them. He knew exactly who would be on the closed set. Shoyo opened the trailer door. Oh no. You're going to get so lost in my touch they're all going to say. Where's K? We can't see him. And then they'll look up and find you floating on cloud 9. K leaned in as they walked to the set. So you're even arrogant in bed? Are you also a screamer? Would you like to find out? And give you the satisfaction of saying you'd slept with me? I don't think so. You're forgetting about the gag order in my contract. And that's not the reason anyway. Oh please enlighten me. Kay said. His demeanor seeming much lighter than it was a minute ago. Shoyo tucked his hands in the pockets of his robe and straightened his shoulders. You. Kay Tsukishima. Are scared to death that if you let your guard down for even one second. You'll fall madly in love with me. Ha. Kay huffed. You're a hot mess. I couldn't possibly. Well, this hot mess is about to climb on top of you and make you a fucking gay icon. So you're welcome. Shoyo opened the stage door. And really K? A hot mess? JJ crouched down to where Shoyo and K were kneeling on the bed. Facing each other. Okay fellas. You know the choreography. We're going to let you two do your thing and then we'll make adjustments on the next take. K. Make sure you put the cast over your head once Shoyo pushes you down on the bed. 
Got it. K sat in the middle of the bed with his legs out in front of him. Shoyo straddled his legs and then reached back and adjusted the band on his boxers, making sure they were sitting evenly on his butt. He took K's left hand and placed it on his ass. Lower? Higher? Perfect. JJ told him. Now, K, can you put your cast hand on Shoyo's hip? Just rest it there gently. Yeah, okay, got it. K stared at his fingertips, resting on Shoyo's bare skin. Even though the fake cast made it awkward, he managed a small caress with his thumb on Shoyo's stomach, right above his waistline. He swallowed hard and looked up, trying to pretend his other hand wasn't on Shoyo's ass. Shoyo gave him a wink. Ready, baby? I'm not your baby. K whispered as he rested his forehead on Shoyo's chest. You will be after this. Ready JJ. We're rolling. People. JJ gave a nod to the assistant director. Same as last time, he said, indicating he'd like to keep rolling beyond what the scene called for. Action. Leo raised his head and looked up at Colin as his fingers slid up his backside under his t-shirt. Colin put his hands on Leo's shoulders and urged him back onto the pillow. He ran his fingers down Leo's chest and grazed them lightly over his nipples. Then down to his stomach. Colin pushed Leo's tank top up a few inches and caressed his stomach as his eyes raked over Leo's now hardened nipples. Leo reached up and slid his hand into Colin's hair, pulling him down so their lips were inches apart. Their eyes met for a few seconds before Colin leaned in just enough for their lips to lightly touch. Leo pulled Colin into a gentle kiss that quickly turned passionate. Colin let out an almost imperceptible moan as Leo's hand ran up his thigh and onto his ass. Colin broke the kiss and worked his way over to Leo's ear. Leo closed his eyes and breathed heavily as Colin sucked on his earlobe. Colin worked his way down Leo's chest and bit his hardened nipple, making Leo gasp. Leo's eyes shuddered when he felt Colin circle his belly button with his tongue. He moaned and raised his arm above his head, resting it on the pillow as Colin bit him through his boxers. And cut. JJ's voice cracked ever so slightly. Shoyo sat up on his knees. My ass was hanging out. I could feel it. Don't worry about it. The camera was on K. And goddamn, JJ said, and then whistled. K sat up and covered his face with his hands. I feel like I'm shooting porn. Most of it will be cut. So don't worry about it. JJ told him. We still have a little thing called standards and practices. Apparently, JJ lacked confidence that the in-house censors would sign off on airing boxer bites. K uncovered his eyes and shook his head at Shoyo. Really? With the, he said as he pointed at his boxers. That was certainly not in the script. The action was supposed to stop at his belly button. Shoyo shrugged. What can I say? I'm a hot mess. Shoyo waited in the Range Rover, nervously tapping his thumbs on the steering wheel. They'd done three takes of the love scene, each one a little hotter, a little more intense than the last. He liked the last one best. When he felt Kay's fingernails dig into his back, the car door opened and Shoyo held his breath, wondering if he'd be ripped into it or ignored or even yelled at. Like he had been right after the kissing scene. His concerned eyes scanned Kay, looking for clues. What? Kay put his seatbelt on and took his phone out of his bag. Nothing. Shoyo shifted the car into reverse. I have some calls to make. Do you mind? Have I ever minded? He eyed K again, but his expression was neutral, leaving no clues as to his state of mind. Will you check the traffic first? Already on it. Normal. Red everywhere. Just take the usual route. So, they were going to ignore it. Just not talk about it. Not mention the fact that their sexual chemistry was off the charts. Fine. Shoyo thought. I'll go to my happy place while you make your phone calls. Turned out Shoyo's new happy place involved a lot of fucking in the kitchen. Taking Kei Tsukishima up against the fridge. Not Leo. Kei. From behind. As Shoyo walked into the kitchen and set his bag on the counter. He paused. Looking at the fridge. The kitschy little palm tree magnet was where it always was. Not lying on the floor in several pieces. 
The photo of Kay on his mountain bike wasn't askew. And there were no palm prints on the shiny stainless steel. What's wrong? Huh? Shoyo quickly opened the fridge and grabbed a bottle of water. Nothing. You were staring at the fridge. It's late. Do you still want dinner? He stood there with the fridge open. Drinking the cold water. Waiting for an answer and trying to cast the graphic images of Kay's naked body writhing under his touch from his mind. It would take Shoyo about 4.8 seconds to climax if he touched himself right now. A snack? Kay took Shoyo's arm and turned him around. He pulled him away from the fridge and closed the door. It's fine. I'm not freaking out this time. I'm not going to lash out at you or whatever you're worried is going to happen. We did our job. We did it well. And I've never felt more comfortable with a co-star than I do with you. Okay? Shoyo nodded. Okay. K studied him for a few seconds. You still look worried. I'm not worried. I'm just trying really hard not to fall in love with you. He took a deep breath. You're right. I was worried you'd be mad at me again. But if you're good, then I'm good too. I'm good. After an awkward moment of silence, K tore his eyes from Shoyo and backed away. I'm tired. I think I'll just go to bed. How about a soak in the hot tub first? What the hell was Shoyo doing? The last thing he needed was to see K in swim trunks. But he didn't want the night to end this way. In awkward silence, I was on my knees all day. He quipped. I could use a soak. K chuckled. Yeah, I guess you were. Hovering over me. A lot. Hovering? Shoyo opened the fridge again. I topped you like a pro. See you in the hot tub. Professional topper. Shoyo turned and smiled. Feeling relieved that their banter was back. His eyes lingered on Kay's ass until he was almost to the stairs and then he shouted. Finally. I get the respect I've always deserved. Kay closed his bedroom door and locked it. He went into his bathroom and closed that door too. He leaned against the sink and unzipped his jeans. Sliding his hand into his underwear. He moaned at the initial touch. He thought it would matter that people were watching their love scene. He'd worried he'd be self-conscious and mechanical because of it. That feeling went away after the first take. By the third take, Kay had completely stopped caring about anyone other than Shoyo. Having his hands on Shoyo's body was everything he'd imagined it would be. He was soft and curvy. And his ass. God. His ass felt so good in Kay's hand. It had taken all of his self-control not to get completely lost in the moment and run his hand up Shoyo's side to his chest. God. He'd wanted every inch of that beautiful man in his mouth. Kay's eyes shuddered closed as he imagined himself pulling Shoyo's shirt off. Freeing those gorgeous pecs and taking one of them into his mouth. He closed his hand around his manhood and slowly stroked himself. His breath quickened and so did his hand. Faster and faster until he crumpled over as the orgasm overwhelmed him. He turned and gripped the counter. Trying to regain his balance. The orgasm hit him far quicker than he thought it would. Or frankly. Than he thought he could. He turned the water on and washed his hands. Catching a quick look at himself in the mirror. God damn. He whispered with a smile. Then he imagined Shoyo's sarcastic commentary. I knew it. You totally turn yourself on. He chuckled quietly as he pulled his trunks out of a drawer. Shoyo was waiting for him in the hot tub. Everything okay? Yeah. Kay couldn't help but notice Shoyo's eyes had locked onto his abs. He took his time stepping down into the water. Are you going to share that? He pointed at the cold beer in Shoyo's hand. Here. Shoyo offered Kay his beer. But he didn't stretch out his arm. Making Kay come to him if he really wanted it. Kay did. He stood right in front of Shoyo and took a long sip. His chest barely inches away from Shoyo's mouth. It wouldn't take much. One bad step and he'd trip his way into Shoyo's arms. He'd apologize. Of course. But he'd hold on to Shoyo's shoulders and not move. Like they do in the movies. Shoyo's hands would stay on his body. The beer bottle floating among the bubbles. Are you okay? Shoyo would ask. Always worried about Kay's arm. Kay would nod. And then. He'd sit on Shoyo's lap. No. Straddle. He'd straddle Shoyo's lap. God. Shoyo's hands would find their way to his ass. God. Kay. 
Don't. Do. It. You just drank my entire beer. K took the bottle from his mouth and inspected it. Shit. I did. While I watched. K leaned forward and set the bottle next to Shoyo's head. Was it as good for you as it was for me? Almost. K's movement stilled. Does he know? Could he see it in my eyes? What I was thinking? No. No way. A real friend would get me another beer. K rolled his eyes. Whatever. You just want to watch my ass. He stepped out of the hot tub and walked back into the house. Yep. Shoyo tipped the bottle over his open mouth. Just to make sure there wasn't any beer left. Nothing came out. Damn. He sat the bottle down and laid his head back. This is gonna be torture.